So if you're tuning in to this video, you're probably following along with the series. If not, you're probably just following along with my videos. Hope this what this build is uh, you know working out for you and you're enjoying it. The stock's on there. I really do love that feature. Don't know how long it's going to last. It wasn't crazy expensive. So um, the selector has loosened up. All I did was I applied a load of the <laughs> Jaeger 1 grease um, onto the little section where the pin sits in. And now it has loosened that up. So what I might have to do periodically is just take that out and just clear any swarf or anything that's accumulated. Because it is quite it was quite stiff to begin with. So that's the lower. Good to go. We'll set this over to one side and we can now start playing about with the upper. And uh, yeah, very, very cool looking receiver. The machining on it's really nice. It would just be interesting to see how the material fares because it does, under first impressions, it does feel soft, but you know. It's not to say it is. We'll pop the most obvious piece on there from the get-go. This receiver does not have a forward assist. So is that a 2 or a 2.5? I think it's a 2.5. One countersunk screw. And we can thread that into the receiver. Once this build's finished, I'm going to be taking it all apart anyway and just thread locking everything that I don't want to come apart we do need to do some measuring because we're going to have to change the length of the inner barrel we're also going to have to swap some pieces over here like the dust cover um, the charging handle i'm probably going to get a new one because this one was done in green to match so i'll probably get another pts one because i really do like that and they're not massively expensive so i might go and see if fire supports Got them in stock i think that's where i had the last one from and uh if they have then happy days four mil allen key i think it is for the rail i don't think that's the four mil. where's the four mil? is that the four mil there we go i'm going to take the mark four rail off two screws They'll pop off with the bracket, and we need a two mil. We'll back these grub screws out either side, so it clears the barrel nut. That will slide off. Barrel nut wasn't super tight anyway, because I was going to change the shim out and re-shim it. We should be able to pull the outer barrel off. It does tend to sit a little bit tight, so all we do, I just tend to pop in a little flathead, and it's a tiny amount of pressure, and that will come loose. We can take off the dust cover. We'll put this in place on the new receiver. Hold it, slide, in we go. Is it gonna get stuck on that little, it's gonna get stuck on that little C-clip, so we might have to pop that off. Little blade, we'll pop this little C-clip off. And it shot off somewhere. Never mind. Not sure if there's enough gap there to fit it in between the dust cover, but it doesn't look like it. Let's hope it's held on with the barrel nut. So here we have our die tack front end. Barrel nut will go on, that's the old one. It looks like that will stop that from sliding off. If that won't, then the rail, I think, most definitely will. 
yeah so it'll stop that coming out anyway so no drama there we have the little adapter piece sitting there we have to put the hop adjuster take that off grub screw just sat in the front there uh, see what will fit will that one fit we have some serious tidying up to tidying up to do on this bench take that screw out and we can slide the hop adjuster out of the marie one as you slide it out here you want to hold that there so the little clicker doesn't fly off don't worry about that put the hot wheel in to the front grub screw uh, sorry not a grub screw just a phillips screw let that sit in the front there where the uh, fake gas tube would go and that's what holds your hop adjuster in place. If you're switching to a different hop adjuster, this is where you would fit it. That will only go in one way. Very nice. We have some bits. We have some bits for this front end. Barrel clamps. That looks like the piece to sit there, maybe. Yeah, that will stop the, I did wonder if there's anything, there was gonna be anything to stop the rail from moving. So that will help stop it rotating. Got our screws, not the craziest quality. They do look very, very cheap. Not something that would be hard to get, but you know, it'd be nice to have it included. I think those are some spacers. We've got the barrel lengths. Let's unwrap these. So that says seven inch. I didn't really know why they would give you five inch. Um, loads of long barrel lengths because you know if you're fitting a short rail you're not going to be putting a you know 10 inch 7 inch barrel on are you so we get barrels to make 5, 6 and 7 I think that's all of them so if we were fitting the 5 inch barrel would we be sticking out I'm not going to put the hop and barrel in just yet but I will take that o-ring pop that on there and the brass piece do we need the brass piece yeah can go in there like that we'll just very loosely Pop the barrel nut on there. What's nice about this is you got these nice big flat edges so you can get an adjustable wrench on there. Pop the rail on. And uh, that is... Uh, where the five inch barrel comes to, which doesn't make sense because it's a 4.75 length rail. Um, what else was there in here? There was some spacers, wasn't there? So half inch spacer. And a quarter inch spacer. So do we just fit those? I imagine we do so that's quite cool actually so it's got a really long thread on there we can put the half inch spacer on 
which might give us the exact barrel length we need. And I think, yeah, that's about right, isn't it? So we wouldn't want it sort of sitting that far back. So I think just in front of the rail is perfect. And that will give us our length on the inner barrel. It will, of course, close down a little bit more. So we'll see how much we need to choppy chop. Push the hop unit in. And that's how much we need to chop off our barrel. <coughs> do I have anything to mark it with? We do have a gas block, which comes with it as well. No gas tube. But either way, it's a nice addition. There's space to put the gas tube on. Um, so when we do it, we'll, we'll just fit this where we need it. Wrong size, wrong size, two mil. So once we've got everything clocked up, I'll probably just fit the gas block just shy of the end of the barrel. Give a nice bit of contrast there in terms of colour, but nice that they include that. Spacers, different barrel lengths, and this all comes as a kit, so you don't have to buy, because I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to buy a barrel. So I put the barrel in the car, and then I put the rail in the car, and then luckily I checked and it showed that the rail, um, you know, came with the barrel set. So that's that's nice. Let's just clock this round. That would then go in like that. Uh, that's the wrong barrel, not. You technically won't need any spacers because, unless this bottoms out, but I don't think it's going to. Uh, because the way that it clamps on, I don't think it sort of um, indexes like the Geisley rail. So that would go on. Rail go on. And then you have these little barrel clamps. So one has the recess for the nut. And the other... Sits like that. So we would push this in like so. They've got everything this nice matte colour. So the receiver, the rail, it's all this nice matte black. Um, so they've, they've done all that. And then the screws and the brackets, they've done in like a gloss. Shouldn't keep moaning, should I really? I should uh, just enjoy building this PDW. So ignore the inner barrel for now. I'll have to chop that up on the lathe. But I'm really keen to see what this looks like. So the front ends on there. Very, very cool. Flash rider wise, not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I did toy with the idea of having the Trash Panda suppressor. A very blingy flash hider on there, so we could run it like that. Obviously the barrel, um, I would then cut, not have to cut down as much. I'm gonna try and build a space or something because this barrel is loose. So my build some kind of little spacer in there um, to hold that in place. Let's put, let's put the bolt in. We'll put this charging handle in for now because I need to order one. So 
So ignore the green. Take the lower. Again, this is not going to be functional because we don't have the buffer spring in there at the moment. That pin's going to get old real quick. So there, that will go in there. Obviously, it's really, really stiff. And I'll just give it a tap because we want to try it. And then we can close. What are you fouling on? Look at that. Let me zoom you out slightly. So ignore the barrel. So we run it like that. Nice little shorty mag. We'll put a little red dot on there. I don't think I'll use the EOTech just because uh, it's quite bulky. And then if we're feeling like it, we can put a trash panda suppressor on there. We've got like a nice little suppressed PDW. That is really cool. I do like that. I think I've finally found a gun to put this suppressor into. I mean, if we ran the suppressor, we wouldn't have to worry about the inner barrel apart from securing it down. The uh, copper flash hider gives it a bit of a uh, bit of contrast. I'll try not to uh, pull that too far back. We'll have the gold bolt there. Obviously, green parts, ignore them, we'll change them out. And we're starting to get somewhere. Very, very cool indeed. I am liking this. I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I have a few little, uh, little, let's uh, pop that there. Need to put the gas block on there. I have a few niggly bits to sort out, so I've got lock time to do. I'm probably going to um, trim the barrel down just in case at a later date I want to run something where the barrel's going to be exposed. I'll probably finish it off just after where the outer barrel ends. Um, but if we're running it in its shortest configuration, we'll take that off. I've got this really little subcompact M4. You pull it out your kit bag or whatever, you press the button, stock comes out and you're ready to fire. And this receiver kit, you know, that pin is very tight, but the kit is very, very rigid, apart from the rail, because I haven't snugged that down. But yeah, I'm liking that. Bit difficult to see it, what it is, because there's parts we need to change. I'll get ordering some bits. And uh, we'll wrap it up there. So thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you like this series for the SLR B15 PDW MWS, that's a mouthful no build series. Show your love down in the comments below. Let me know you want to see more of this kind of thing. Thanks very much for watching the entirety of this video if you have done. And from me and Bench, I'll see you in the next video.